All right, well, we're fighting daylight here. It's uh, uh, just a regular Monday evening. I'm out here shooting 160, and uh, get a lot of questions on shooting at extended distance and uh, equipment and just, I guess, technique. The thing you gotta keep in mind is shooting at 160, I'm gonna shoot five arrows here, so we're gonna see how I will do with these five, five arrows, but Good shot there. Everything's magnified, as you can imagine, 160 yards. That one's just a little low, but uh, good shot on the deer. It looks like through the spot and scope. Um, this is equivalent to a 1,600-yard rifle shot. It's about 10 times as a factor between rifle and bow. They say roughly. So 160-yard bow shot, 1,600-yard rifle shot, and as you know, shooting something like that. Everything comes into play. Right now there's absolutely no wind. I got a ribbon down there and just hanging straight down. That's good. Good shot. Touch low. I need to, I need to keep my pin up there, but uh you know, I feel like if I can get out here and shoot at 160, you know, everybody says it a million times. I've said it a million times. Um, that 60, 70, 50, whatever, 30-yard shot is just going to be slam dunk. That is a perfect shot. Perfect lung shot. We just got a 3D deer target down there. 160 and it's uh you know I got my sight, my hog father here. It only goes to 135 before I start hitting. You see that right there? So I've had that bottom of my um, housing down there a little too low, so Fletch is hit. I can get to 135. Then I have these, so my pin's 135, that white dot's 145, that one's 155. I gotta cheat up a little bit to get to 160, but uh, we make it work. That one pin is a big difference when you're shooting long ways. The thing about this shot is you gotta just stay in it the whole way. money ah, touch forward so here goes my fifth shot shooting the spider turbo at 80 pounds 419 grain Easton full metal jacket Gotta focus here. Okay, let's uh, let's walk up there and check them out. We'd, I would film through the spot and scope, but we're gonna go pull them right now and we can check it out. So, just so, just turn it off so we can walk up there. Okay, well. Touch forward, I guess. These are good. So there's my five shots at 160. And, uh, you know, I guess any distance I shoot at, I'm looking for minute of angle accuracy. So if I'm at 40 yards, I want a four inch group. And I can do better than that, but 60 yards, six inch group, and so on. So 160, I guess, if you're, if you're sticking with that minute of angle, you want a 16 inch group. And uh, obviously that's better than that. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Five arrows at 160 make I feel real confident with my bow. Um, one thing that I've learned with shooting at extended distance, and again, 
okay, we're not talking hunting, we're just talking practice shooting and making sure my equipment is dialed in. But one thing that I've noticed it at that far, everything comes into play. Wind, of course, but rain. I've shot in heavy rain and my arrows are like five yards in front of this target, just get driven down by the rain. Um, if it's a humid night or thick air, whatever you want to call it, hit low. Um, that I have that ribbon hanging over there, and if it's moving at all, I got to adjust for that. So it's just kind of fun, just you know, getting out here shooting, shooting bows, and uh, just seeing what your equipment can do. But uh, again, here we are, just another night. This is pretty much what I practice every night. We got the range all the way down from from 20 yards there to 90, and then you can go back to whatever. But uh, this is my favorite distance right here, 160, making sure I'm dialed in. It's a good night.